The Kemerati Bazaar district in Turkey's Aegean coastal city, Izmir. The historical area's roots reach back to ancient times. But anthropologist Nesim Benjoya is looking for different roots, namely traces of his own Jewish ancestors. The residence you see down there is a so-called Jews' court from the Ottoman period. The Jews themselves called these houses cortejos. They came to the Ottoman Empire from Spain. Nesim Benjoya returned to his hometown Izmir in 2010. Like many Turkish Jews, he had previously immigrated to Israel. In Izmir, He's been working with the foundation to save the architectural remnants of Jewish life here, in particular, the city's remaining synagogues. Most of them are in the former Jewish quarter, which is now a poorer area. I'd like to turn these sites of Jewish life into spaces for art and culture. That would also benefit the district, because it would attract visitors, ones who aren't just looking for cheap merchandise. He shows us one of the six remaining synagogues. The hope is that one day it will host exhibitions and concerts. The building is hardly more than a ruin, but it dates back to the Byzantine era. The debris was meters high, with trees already growing on it. The roof was long gone. And look here, the numbers of the rows of benches were marked. Now we just need to find out who sat in them. The initiative has been getting plenty of support, including from Germany. Most Muslim residents here also stand behind the project. They hope it will bring in more tourists. Tourists appreciate the history more than we, the quarter's residents, do. But I'm hoping we can learn something about it too. But there are also anti-Semites in Turkey. When Israeli President Isaac Herzog came to Istanbul in mid-March, a demonstration was held outside a synagogue where he was attending a prayer service. An anti-Semitic prejudice is easy to find on Istanbul's streets. Money rules the world, and since the Jews have so much of it, they end up ruling the world. We show the Jewish faith respect, but they have no regard for our religion. It's clear that they rule the world. It's a few powerful families who do. Nesim Benjoya has heard these prejudices before. There are one reason why he organizes tours of Izmir's former Jewish quarter for his Turkish countrymen. For most of them, it's the first time they see a synagogue from the inside. That's the first step. The next time, they might attend one of our cultural events. Currently, there's a debate and honest conversation being held about discrimination and violence that non-Muslim minorities suffered in the past. One catalyst for this seems to have been the popular Turkish streaming series, The Club. The series dramatized real-life attacks on Christians and Jews in 1955. Benjoya was a young boy at the time. A potentially violent mob had gathered on one of the city squares. My mother rushed over to the neighbors with me. I remember her shouting that people were running through the streets and that they might attack our houses. When I watched the part of the series that dealt with those events, all the fear I experienced as a little boy came back to me. As a consequence of the harassment and discrimination, many Jews left Turkey. Today, only about 20,000 remain in the entire country and barely 1,000 in Izmir. Only the older ones among us are still here. Hardly any of the 30 and 40 year olds are left at all. And we're having one funeral after another. Nesim Benjoya is one of very few Jews who have returned, and he wants to ensure that at least the cultural heritage of Izmir's once proud and thriving Jewish community is preserved. Thank <laughs> you.